This is the MVP race right here. If you want to, this is the MVP race right here, man. We not worried about the rookie of the year. Go ahead, Angel. You want the rookie of the year? You can have it, man. <laughs> you go ahead and have the rookie of the year, Angel, man. Go ahead, man. We ain't even gonna we ain't even gonna work. We ain't even gonna um bother you about that, Angel. Go ahead and have your little rookie of the year. Caitlin is the MVP, man. She's the MVP of the league. None of them girls get doubled in. Man, listen. The guys on Gil, Gil's Arena, Rashad McCant said it the other day. He said what I, and that's an NBA player. He said what I said. She be averaging 25, 26 points a game. Easy. If they treated her like any other player. If they treated her like Asia Wilson, if they treated her like Brianna Stewart, they treated her like these girls, she would be scoring. And listen, you won't hear some people say, oh, but they play different positions. Listen, you can still double team somebody that's a forward. You can still double team a center. These girls are all forwards. These are all forwards, right? You can double forwards in the post. You can deny forwards in the post. You can front them. You can send doubles. You can shade the defense to their side of the floor. But teams don't do that. They just let these girls go one-on-one -on -one and do their thing. Caitlin is the MVP. Everyone subscribe also. Everyone subscribe. All you guys that are here, subscribe to the channel, man. Caitlin is the MVP. Also hit the like button. She's the MVP of the league. What are the fever? 9 and 13? 9 and 13? They beat Phoenix. They've beat the Liberty. They started to beat good teams now. And listen, we stuck with Christy Sides. We're not getting rid of Christy Sides now. <laughs> we ain't getting rid of Christy Sides now, man. We stuck with Christy, man. We stuck with Christy Sides now, man. Um... We stuck with Christy Sides now. Let me let me let me let me great let me find out what you guys um think about Christy Sides too, man. I, I I think I think we're stuck with her, man. I think we're stuck with Christy Sides now. And listen, let me tell you why. Christy Sides did finally let Caitlin Clark touch the ball in the half court, and. Here's the thing about Christy Sides. She, in press conferences, she confronts Caitlin, Caitlin all the time. She always confronts Caitlin. Caitlin needs to do this. Caitlin did this wrong. Caitlin, da 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 da. Caitlin, da da da. da. And she never says anything about the other girls. But. I think behind closed doors, she confronted them girls and told them, look, man, you're going to have to start passing the ball to Caitlin in the half-court offense, man. Because, yes, she touches the ball all the time. She brings the ball up. Yes, she touches the ball on the fast break. But she never touches the ball in the half-court. And I think Christy Sides had to have a – She, I think she didn't want to. She was avoiding it. But from what I saw today and what I saw a little bit in the last couple of games, the Phoenix game and the Las Vegas Aces game, but mostly today, was that they actually let Caitlin touch the ball in the half-court offense. 
So they play the Mystic. This is a this is a this is a game right here. You gotta watch for a letdown, man. You gotta watch for a letdown against the um. You gotta watch for a letdown against the Mystics on on Wednesday, man. You gotta watch out for a letdown against the Mystics on Wednesday, man. Because the Mystics have played them tough all year long. The Mystics have played the Indiana Fever tough all year long. You got to watch out for a letdown, man. I hope they don't come into this game smelling their shit. I don't they I hope they don't smell themselves when they come into this game against the Indiana against the Washington Mystics on um Wednesday. Four more games. Four more games before the um break. <laughs> and tell you but <laughs> Twelve p.m. noon. That's a weird time for a game. That is such a weird time, man. That's a weird time for a game. The hell? Okay, so here's the game. Okay. Well, we gave them two days off in this last week and so they really think that that's what it was so that's the first thing they're talking about is being two days off. <laughs> i just don't think we can do it i have to think about it i didn't say yes i didn't say no um you know they they are different did christy wallace play did christy wallace play or she hurt because i didn't see christy wallace out there I didn't see Erica Wheeler. I didn't see Christy Wallace. And those are her girls, man. She she rolled with them. That's her that's her squad, man. Yeah. Gave them two days off in this last week, and so they really think that that's what it was. So that's the first thing they're talking about is being two days off. <laughs> I just don't think we can do it. I have to think about it. I didn't say yes. I didn't say no. Um, you know, they, they fought differently tonight and they know that. And they, you know, when I walked in, they were giving everybody the credit that, you know, they're really happy for Lexi. They're really happy for Dantas. You know, they're really happy. They showered Caitlin. She was soaking wet when she came in here. Um, you know, they're just, they're just getting, um, where they're on the same page and able to execute things offensively, but we keep getting better defensively. And that, for me, holding New York to 16 points in the fourth quarter, that's huge for us. That's the number one team in the league. And for us to do that, and they're a great team, but for us to do that, but to do it in front of our home crowd, the crowd was incredible. They were loud. It, it, it's just amazing that we're getting to play in front of these amazing fans at home, being on the road, five games is tough, but to come home to this and to get the win for our fans, it's incredible. Coach sides, coach sides, coach sides, coach sides. Um, nobody said Christy sides may have unfired herself today. Seems all of their problems have been solved by less Christy Wallace minutes. 
Yeah, KD Lou, man. KD Lou is not a good player. KD Lou is, is decent, but she's KD Lou's not really all that good, man. She's the most competitive human being um, I've ever met. I really compare her to Diana Taurasi. She's always looking to find ways to get better. How can I help the team? What can we do? Um, but she, you know, she found a rhythm tonight. You know, she's, you know, the timing for our players is getting better every game. So some of the ones that, you know, some of the shots that, you know, those passes that she was make, making early, we just weren't ready for them. Now we're, the chemistry is there. The timing is there. And that's going to keep getting better. Um, but she just wants to win. She just wants to win. And to me, I mean, she's going to be my rookie of the year um, every day. Every day. This one says, of course it's a team win. Christy Sides is absolute trash. CC cooking first quarter, and so is the team. And she sets the point guard for the final minutes only to bring her in cold for the last play, which resulted in the turnover. Christy Sides is effing horrible. Listen, I don't think, I think you guys stuck with Christy Sides, man. I think y'all stuck with Christy Sides, man. <laughs> 